Hello everyone. I'm going to show you, how you can be able to export an alpha channel in DaVinci Resolve. Before we begin, let's understand what an alpha channel is. The alpha channel enables you to create a transparent background around the subject you want to display. They come in use when you're doing any compositing or motion graphics work. Let's get started. As you can see here, I've already imported one green screen clip, in my timeline, and also, I've removed the green screen from the clip. If you don't know, how to remove the green screen from the clip, then in one of my previous videos, I showed you, how to remove green screen in DaVinci Resolve. So, I won't be repeating that step here, if you haven't seen that earlier video, I've attached it in the YouTube i button above and, in the description, below, go check it out. Let's come back to the video. And now switch to the, deliver page, from here under the, render settings, then select, custom export, under video, export video, should be check marked, then go to the, format menu, and choose quick time, and now under the codec, choose, apple progress, and under type, choose, apple progress 4444, because that's the option that will provide you with ability to add the alpha channel. Here I have two more alternatives to these settings. Here are those. For the first alternative, will be, you can go for codec, choose DNxHR, and under type, choose, DNxHR444, 12-bit. For the second alternative, will be, you can go for codec, choose, GoPro Cineform, and under type, choose, RGB 16-bit. Make sure you check mark, this, export alpha, checkbox. If you didn't then your video would show this black background. If you want to make any changes to other settings like resolution, you can do so. And then give a name to your file, choose a location, to export, and then click on, add to render queue, at last click on render all. That's it. At the end, above all these settings that I've just mentioned in this video, I just wanted to add one last thing is that the, Apple ProRes, created the smallest file size by far, than other alternative settings. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Happy editing.